happening youtube yes you're not seeing repeats that's not my twin sister even though we both look good as hell we're not chocolate m ms my people we are youtubers and writers my people check this sister out on ig her youtube link is in the description here to break down power one more time for you guys that's the homegirl monique nicole i'm lamont tyson the rest of the guests will be here in a minute monique how you doing tonight doing pretty good how about yourself I can't complain. Ready to get this in. However, Monique Nicole, let me ask you this. Do you watch mm -hmm. Game of Thrones, The House of Dragons? I need to watch it. I haven't watched the episode yet. But I've heard... I'm, no, I'm just, I'm just asking. Like, was you, was you in the Game of Thrones um, back when it was on? Yes and no. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. It's, it's, just a asking. Funny, it's, a, it's a funny story. It's a funny story. Okay. I... I, I, I'll probe you for that later. Uh-oh. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the bullpen is hot because uh -oh. New York is in the building oh. right now, ladies and gentlemen. In Queens the is in the building. Queens oh, is in the building. Lord. You got to be specific now. You already know. I got to be specific. I got to say Queens. Queens is in the building. Monique, you don't know I do that on purpose to antagonize her. Mucha been you know, saying this to me. I'm I'm originally from New York, so it's always it's, it's, I know it's, she is. Oh, he just he oh, only he knew. Nah, she no. really is. Well, boy. Oh. I thought she was. I thought she was, I thought she was an her. Atlanta girl. Mm -mm, oh. No, she's a transplant. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Mm. But I grew up in Atlanta. What's up, cousin Tressa C? Ew. Tressa C. <laughs> Miss <laughs> Kira speaks, my people. She has a YouTube channel. She's a mother growing a channel, so show her some love as well. The big homie Tressa C, who I've been trying to get on YouTube, one of my favorite, adoring, long-lasting fans and supporters. She watches everybody I do business with. Would yes. love to see her on the channel she's at a, some she's point. She's a loyal, one day. a loyal yes. subscriber. Yes, mm -hmm. and she she is that girl. Arlene Hicks in the building. Omar in the building. Reggie, my homies in the building. All the homies is here. We got 102 already. Let's get this thing started. So I told y'all last week, you know, don't be afraid to do any theories you might have because you can break those theories down, upload them on your own channel. I want you guys to do that before the mice that peep in our little corners be able mm -hmm. to run around and say they came up with their own damn creation. Yep, and so having said that, having said that, I'm going to kick this thing off for y'all tonight. If you didn't see my thumbnail, this is the thumbnail. And here it is. Mm -hmm. I predict oh. not only not only did I say last week Marvin was going to die. OK, to further add to my theory, I'm not only going to say Marvin's going to die. I'm going to say Juke is going to be the one to kill him. Now, why would I say that? The power universe has a long history of letting family members, in particular, mother do. Oh Lord, M Moochie, this ain't safe. Go ahead, go ahead, go, go ahead Moochie. Go okay, ahead. I didn't want to cut you off. I wanted you to finish. You finish, Lamont. Finish, go. finish Lamont, and then I okay. then you pass the ball to me. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, power has a long history of having siblings, mothers, daughters, fathers being killed by one or the other one. First one is in this show, actually. This is Sean. Oh, Sean. He was killed by his own damn daddy. And Damn. you know, a lot of people was in love with this Dwayne Wade looking Negro. They love Sean. It was. That's my boo. They, they love, even though Sean was tapping Mrs. St. Patrick's <laughs> panty drawers, y'all still loved him. Either. Yeah, I ain't forgot about that. But the most significant killing of their parent or parent killing them was this little Negro right here. He killed ghosts. So, ladies and gentlemen, I'm here to tell you that the friction that is between Marvin and his daughter, I don't see it getting any better. I see her getting closer and closer to Detective Burke. And at some point in time when she's like, my parents ain't S-H-I-T, and she's fed up, and she's about to go over the line, I do see her killing Marvin. And since I made this prediction last week, that Marvin is going to die this season, ladies and gentlemen, I'm here mm. to tell you, Jukebox will kill Marvin before Woo. this season is over. Mm. Whoa. You really think so? One Whoa. theory down. One theory down. Oh, wow. Waiting for the rest okay. of y'all to come back with them theories. Whoa. Let's go. Well, 
I only got my one theory with the, uh, with the, the scrappy theory. So check it out on my channel. Now with this, I like where you're going. And I'm going to follow me, you. Me, and I'm going I'm, I'm to piggyback we, off of it. We here. I, I know. I'm going to do the alley you. So yeah, I'm yeah. going with yeah, exactly. It's going right in the hole. Anywho, <laughs> I feel like now that she saw her mother and knows where she lives, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, she knows where she lives now. She's gonna start digging and finding the truth out. Once mm, she has yes. a heart to heart conversation with her mom, and this is something that she has Jet Jukebox has wanted her whole life, mm -hmm. she's gonna find out how much the Thomas family lies to their own family. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. that's, in, I'm going to include Rock on this because I feel like she's lying too right now. When she lied to her in this past episode when she asked about her mother. Facts, Moochie. 100% so, facts. I mean, Monique what, Nicole, that's what I'm going let with. me let you speak on that situation with Juke come and on, her mom come and on, Rock. Come on, girl, come on with it. So before I jump in, because I got I, so, I want to say something about that too. I like your theory. My only okay. thing is I'm not sure if it's gonna happen this season. That's my okay. only thing. Okay. This season would be okay. too soon, but I think gotcha. I can definitely see that happening in the future for sure. I just think season two might be a little too early for that. D mm. Again, depending on how long they're gonna do the show. This could be a three-season show, this could be a five-season show. We don't know yet, really. So it kind of depends, but I, I like your theory. I do like it. Monique, Nicole, I 100% believe this is going to be a five-season show. Okay. They've yeah. already renewed season three. Yeah, and let's just keep, let's keep it real. Let's keep it real. This, had, this last episode was great. Th that was great entertainment, great TV. And I can't speak for everyone else. But of all the power shows that have come out to this point, this has been the best one. And Tommy, yep. I love you, my brother. And I know you watch my reviews. I know um, Kate watches them too. I think last season was a warm up for y'all. But if I'm talking about the totality of everything we have seen so far, this one has been the best of the power spin off. It's been pure fire, and I really, really enjoy it. So definitely, they're going to get five seasons. Um, but I can see them offing him pretty quick um, mm -hmm. just because. The way the show fills in other characters and bringing, mm -hmm. like, they just done brought in that Cartier Fareed. We know he's going to be a problem. He looked like a Suge Knight muscle. He looked <laughs> like he's going to be murking people at the, the music studio. He looked like he might be go signing artists and telling them, you signing over your whole damn life. If you don't want to be down with them New York Negroes, come to Death Row Records. I, he just got that look all about I, Look, Go ahead. I, I said that he's a combination between Suge Knight and Big Red mm -hmm. from the Five Heartbeats. He he's he going to be hanging suckers off the roof. Yep. He's going to be strong arming people. Now, we already know that Crown Camacho is going to fold like a lawn chair. Girl. But, but <laughs> Damn right. my boy, my baby Lulu, it's oh, going to be oh. some pushback with him. He ain't going to oh, go down like that. Yeah, oh, oh, it's gonna be some push. Look, look at her. <laughs> That's babe. Listen, look, look, look day at he her. Died, baby, I'm gonna be crying real tears the day they kill him off the show. Oh, Don't man. say that. Not my Lulu. No, no, no. Oh, oh my, my god. You got me sounding like an old church lady. Oh, I have no, a really not my Lulu. Lulu. Listen, these, I, have these, 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 I have a question to ask y'all. I have a question to ask y'all. This is this Go going ahead. back. I know y'all are power super fans. So remember in the original power when mm -hmm. Kanan came home from jail mm -hmm. and he had said something to Ghost like, I'm about to go see my mom. Didn't he say that? He said yeah. something, right? Yeah. Yeah. I did a theory on that last season. Okay. Mm -hmm. Check so, it out. It's, <laughs> I did, I, I it was had a to, good I one, y'all. I came with receipts, it, too. It, yeah. It, it was a good I one. I went back and played one. that episode mm -hmm. and I was like, uh, it's going to lie. Mm -hmm. so, it's this. one of the first lives so if that's the case right if his mom was still alive why mm -hmm. is it that when Kanan was killed off and they basically made it seem like he had no living relatives or family to come and pick up his stuff oh so I could answer that was the one help me I could answer that help me baby help me Hey, okay. take, take I'm gonna, it, I'm gonna, do you remember what Ghost said 
I'm just, this is a shot in the dark. Okay. I don't have any, uh, like, solid proof of it. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to say this. When Ghost Mid, when they asked about Kanan and how he was set up, we found out that whole thing that Tasha and Ghost basically mm -hmm. set Kanan up to go to jail. Mm -hmm. Ghost didn't want to kill him, so he put him somewhere. You know, you sit right here right now because yep. you're doing too yep. much. You're what's right. What's up, D.A.B.? Hey, 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 what's going on? <laughs> so, what's up? What's up? I, I was saying this. They didn't want to kill Ghost, Tasha, and, and, and um, they didn't want to kill Ghost. Kanan. They didn't want to kill Kanan. Mm -hmm. So what did they do? They put him in jail. I think his mom is, I think he set his mom up. I think she's going to go to jail. You think she's in jail? I don't think he's going to kill her. No. Mm -mm. Oh, no. okay, okay. No, I don't, I don't they, think, I don't think he's, I don't think he's going to kill her. They left it open ended when he said, I, I'm going to go see my mom or visit my mom. People, it's just like, is she alive? Like, good point. She could have been in jail. I mean, she could be in jail yeah. or, she, yeah. or he could be going Definitely. to see the grave. Her grave site. Right, right. I, right. I, I, I feel like, I don't think he killed her. Okay. I feel like he put her down because he wanted to be the big dog after. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. Ladies like and gentlemen, that. boys and girls, when, when, when you need a YouTube supermodel male, Okay, mm. one that don't take his talents to any stripping stage, one who takes his talents right behind his microphone and breaks these movies and TV shows down like no other. It is my big brother, my little brother, my all everything brother. Just my opinion reviews. B. Avery in the building, hanging out with us on a Tuesday. What's going on, my brother? Hey, hey, hey how y'all doing? I'm doing pretty good, man. Thanks for having me. How you doing, man? Oh, you I'm hanging the tough, man. Voice tonight again. Hey. I know, man. Go ahead, go I know. Hey, do it for the ladies, be Avery. Be, be, come, be coming out here. Be Avery, be coming out here threatening my manhood. Nah, nah. Very white boy. None so, of that. None of that. Be Avery. What was your thoughts on this second episode of Power Book Three, Season Two, Episode Two? Likes, dislikes. How do you feel? Um, absolutely loved it. You know, it broke my yes. heart with uh, the way it ended. You know, um, I, I mean, I, I don't want to jump too far ahead, but I'm pretty sure we're going to talk about jump it. Jump but... anywhere you want. Be oh. Avery, anywhere you want. We fill in gaps here. Okay. You know, Rock, she just be making them bad decisions, man. You know, um, I understand. I just kind of wish she would have did a little bit more homework before you, you take out a loyal soldier like that. Since dude Thank been in the game since he was 14, you know? Thank you. Thank I mean, let, I don't know. I just kind of thought like, okay, well, hey, let's um, let, let let's limit our information uh, that we give them until we find out. Or, or you could at least torture his ass, you know, <laughs> beat, the, beat the crap out of him and like, nigga, are you uh, sure, nigga, you ain't no snitch? Right. I'm gonna get your other eye. <laughs> you wanna be blind? But you know, um, last night, Brandon. So yeah, I agree. It, it, it was um. <laughs> It, it was good. I, I love the theories uh, that you guys have, uh, especially you, Moochie. Um, mm -hmm. And and Lamont, I, I will call you crazy for saying that Juke would kill her daddy, Marvin. Okay. But you gave some good examples. And yeah. I was like, well, damn. I, uh, I was like, it actually yeah. don't sound too crazy because he did no. lay it out there. <laughs> and so yeah. no. that would, yeah. but if it does happen, if Marvin dies, uh, Jukebox is uh, dead, I think that it'll be either on accident or he jumps in front of a bullet or something like mm -hmm. to save her. I would like that. Uh, if she, mm -hmm. if she killed him out of malice or, you know, just because it was upset or had a part around two of season one, that would disappoint me. Um, okay, but overall, man, I, I I did enjoy the episode, man. I I I did a lot. I did. I, I like gotcha. how it even started with uh, Howard um, approaching Rock, like, "Hey, I got the, I got the papers," you know. So, <laughs> um, <laughs> and he won't usher Raymond talking about divorce papers either. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah it, it was good though. It was good. Yeah, I liked it, man. And um, it's. I, I was telling them, and I want to get your opinion, B. Avery. Do you feel like this has been the best power spinoff, or do you like one of the other ones better? You know what, man? That's a good question, man. I do agree with you. As far, like, um, I think I don't want to misquote you. Uh, the Tommy show, I mm -hmm. think that was probably the most anticipated from everybody, but ended That's up being the most disappointing. Mm -hmm. uh, and, I mean, mm -hmm. I don't, I'm not saying that it was trash. It's just, it's just the right, weakest. right, right. Uh, but this one is a contender, man. Um, yeah. Out of, out of this one in book two, um, I don't know. Book two is a little silly. 
Uh, you know, it can be. It can be. It can be. And, and and I mean, Mary J is entertaining. I mean, she's entertaining to see on 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 the TV, but she's not the best actress. Everybody's acting her behind off in book three, so I don't even think about that either, bro. You might be right, man. This may be the best show. It's tough, man. It's, I'm, tough. I, it's, it's not better than the original, but I mean, uh, right, right, okay. right. It's just right. just spinoffs, right? right? Just the spinoffs, yeah, yeah. just the spinoffs. Yeah. So and we only got we only got book two, book three, and book four, right? That's all, we only got yeah. three, right? Yeah, okay. that's yeah, it. This, this yeah, might they, be the they best canceled, one. Uh... Influence. One influence. I don't know why. Yeah. I was. I wanted to see that. I hope I they have. Too. Maybe they'll mingle his stuff in with Power Book too. Sure, definitely. Yeah, 100%. I can see that happening. 100%. Yeah, but they was like, definitely you know what? It's did. not enough for him to have a show. Maybe they say they that. teased us last season. You know, with Book Two, with his. Yeah, that's know. why I figured they, yeah. they was gonna come through with it. Yeah, me too. Uh oh, somebody supporting my theory. Marvin showed a disdain for the LGBT community. His death is sealed. Mm. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> let, let me tell let me tell um Kenneth something. Kenneth, if writers, I don't care what their predilections <laughs> are, what their um political motivations are, if they see a story is going in the right direction and is getting fans engaged. They're not going to make a crazy decision to take somebody off the show unless your name is Game of Thrones. But <laughs> I could be wrong. And if I am wrong, that means my theory is going to be wrong. But we'll see where it goes from here. But um, I appreciate that super chat, my man. I'm very grateful. Let me ask y'all an off-topic question, and then we'll get back to power. B. Avery and Moochie, y'all both watching Game of Thrones, right? Yes. B. Avery. How did you feel about the first episode of House of Dragons? Um, I liked it overall. I'm kind of ignorant on the show, to be honest with you. Like, uh, oh. I'm not an oh. expert. I'll just, I'll just say that because I watched the mm -hmm. original show, but it really watched me more than I watched it. But I <laughs> okay. did enjoy it, though. I did enjoy it. Yes. OK, gotcha. And Moochie, how are you feeling about it? I was here for it. I liked the begin. I liked how it started off. We already got mm -hmm. who, who's the menace. We already have who's the S starter that's stirring mm -hmm. the pot. I liked it. Yeah. Hey, I'm a throny. Okay, <laughs> loved it. It was it was great, and I was very worried about how they was going to play the lure of Targaryens. And spread it out and cover all the seven the seven lands of the Westeros. And I, I see the setup, like Moochie said. You can see that there's about to be a civil war within mm -hmm. the family that is going to destroy the Targaryens. And That's... I'm here for it. I'm here for it. You already see more incest about to happen, like Jamie <laughs> and his sister. You mm -hmm. see that coming down the pipe. Yep. You see... Please. It's, it's yeah, you all see it already get ready to happen. Yes, so let me yes, ask you guys. Yes. Let me ask you guys. Someone like me who's watched hmm, a good amount of Game of Thrones. Okay. Would you recommend me watching it? The spit. Did Definitely. you like it? Did you Definitely. like it? I liked it overall. I liked Definitely. It. I watched Definitely. it. I was there for everything. Definitely. Some people ain't there for certain parts, like the gore and all that. I'm there for the fights. I'm yeah, here the for everything. Fight. I'm here for the drama. I'm here for everything. Oh, I mean, that's what make it Game that of was Thrones. The, I mean, I was watching the episodes like this, but... Oh. The, first, the, the first episode has some of everything. Everything. It, and it was a it, taste it, right. of it. Okay. It, yes. And it, great and setup. And the dragons was bigger this, yes. this year. Mm. Mm -hmm. the, the, Great um, setup. If you watch our when we was doing the revisit of Game of Thrones on Nita the Divas channel, Miss mm -hmm. K read the books. Oh wow! Oh, and really? She described yeah. that throne before we actually saw it. And I said it's just right. like she described it. How she described yeah. it. How the books described mm. it. Wow. And it looks just like Miss K said it was. Nice, right? Nice, nice, and nice, the, and nice. the book, the people who are into the book. They know a lot about that. So, and and if you watch this first episode, a lot of the lure from the book was displayed in the visuals. The red keep looked great um, mm -hmm. in the beginning. Well, we're just saying about Game of Thrones, but I want somebody to let me know in the comments: Should we change Tuesday night to Game of Thrones review? Because I want to. I do want to talk about that show. If everybody want to talk about it, but for now, shouts out to Demarcus Vaughn. Let us get back on this Game of Thrones. Marvin will die saving Juke. Marvel will be in Juke's arms and will tell her he's sorry and he loves her. Okay. I can see that coming. I can see we'll that. See where, I can we'll, see that. Yeah, I can see it too. We'll see where oh, it goes. Oh, another thing too, um, y'all. 
I feel like it might not be Jukebox that killed Marvin. It might be Jukebox mother. Shit. What? Why would the mama kill her? Look, you don't. We don't know how she actually left. We don't know if she was kicked out. We don't know if it was the same situation as um her daughter. How he, he how he just blew up on her for cheating. Okay. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. He could have blew up on her and just like put all her stuff out and be like bounce. You know what I'm saying? Has but there been they, any reason why um, Juke hasn't asked her daddy about this? They don't talk. They don't really have a speaking relationship. Hey, you yeah, you want me to pick you up from school? They don't. He doesn't. He doesn't communicate with his daughter. She has more of a relationship with Rock than than yeah. when she needs to talk to somebody. I got to talk to an adult. She go. Rock is her go-to person. I'll say on um, season one, they made it seem like you, you remember when uh, Marvin and Lulu got into that fight right outside, mm -hmm. they were throwing insults at each other. Lulu said your your girl got turned out by the. <laughs> But the whole league, like, so she got on drugs and she got turned out. It was like a whole thing. So I, I'm thinking drugs could have came into play, you know, but it's seeming like she abandoned Jukebox versus her getting put out. But we don't know that. They could have spun it like that to her. Right. I think she's been lied to. And we know but Lulu, I'm going off of what Lulu said to me. I, under I understand what you're saying, but mm -hmm. you know why I'm saying I feel like she was lied to? Mm. Lulu's not gonna lie, but so much to her. But I feel like she was lied to, especially when her and Rock had this last conversation. Okay. And she, oh, like definitely. I said, she's definitely. gonna have a total change. Mm -hmm. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Oh, there was some lies for sure. Yeah. I, and I feel like she was lying to her. I'm, I'm sorry. I, I, I see mm -hmm. that, and I think she's gonna resent all of them because remember, she knew most of the secrets. She knows stuff that Kanan don't know. Mm -hmm. she Rock? I think you're right. I, I think you're right. Yep. Yeah. I, I that's probably yeah. going to send her over to the dark side. Cause, yeah, because you know, we didn't see evil. that change in her yet. We seen yeah, her do right. the crazy eyes and stuff now. Right, right. right, <laughs> right. Didn't, she's not to that point where she's like, ee, 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 like she's not there yet. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> and and the other thing, the other thing to Miss K Miss Monique's point about what happened to the mom, if y'all recall, Marvin did tell Jute that she owned that gay shit like her mother. And if, if the mama got turned out, it could have been that she got turned out from Marvin's drugs. And maybe that's why she got away. I mean, hell, you could write a theory video on that. But ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I will no longer call her Miss K. <laughs> I'm going to start calling her Special K. Mm -hmm. And I know that these Super Chats is about to flood because ladies and gentlemen in the building to match all this chocolate that we got up here having <laughs> this coming to America reunion. It's the homegirl, Miss K, in the building. Hey, hey, hey B. What's good? What's, going on? What's up? And Miss K, you, you see, I reserved you a seat right beside the big homie, yes. G. Avery. Is it this yeah, yeah. I've been asking about you. What? Uh, uh, nice, so nice. I love you. it. I love it. I love it. Good to see you too. Yes. Good to see you. So Miss like K, give old us, times. Uh, that's right. <laughs> give us, give us what your happened? overall thoughts on this episode. How did you like it? Um, you know, was it one of your favorites so far this year? Talk to us about this episode of Power Raising Canaan. Uh, well, definitely not one of my favorites because of what happened to Scrap. So oh, that God. put a serious damper on things. But it was a good episode, so I can't lie about that. Um, I just mm -hmm. really feel like it was premature to kill him. I feel like there was a lot of things to uncover with him because he has such a history. I feel like right. a lot of they should have kept him alive to help reveal. Like once the lies are revealed, you need people like Scrappy around to like you know corrob corroborate the story or confirm. Yeah, this is what happened. This is what happened. What happened? But he's not a a turncoat. You know what I'm saying? Like he's not somebody that snitches. So who knows? He might have never said anything, you know, but mm -hmm. here's my thing. Remember last year he was um, he was like when Kanan finished shooting Detective Howard, he said, I'm usually down for whatever you want me to do. Right. Yep. But this is some other other stuff. Mm -hmm. And I need to get this car cleaned out of your boy. This and that. You don't want this coming back on me. You know, I need to keep my stuff clean. Yeah. So what was that about? We not gonna get no answers, or we're just gonna talk about him and all that. So that's why I feel like really he's gonna die. I thought if he was gonna die, it was gonna be 
you know, down Me the line. Too. Me too. Yeah, mm. They killed him off. So what are you going to do? Wow. Yeah. Wow. That was hurt, mm. man. That was hurt. So, Miss K, we did kind of we broached the subject of Game of Thrones, mm -hmm. and we we understand you're a Game of Thrones aficionado. You done read all of George Martin's books. You no. can help us tie in everything <laughs> and all that. And you know, I'm a I'm a minor aficionado of Game of Thrones, very minor. <laughs> but I, I'm batting the idea around of turning this into power and turning this into a Game of Thrones review night. How would you feel about that, Miss Super? super know the book and the story i would love it hello i'm not ever gonna say no, <laughs> no. but See? i'm not i wouldn't call myself a. I wouldn't call myself a major i wouldn't say a minor i think i'm i'm hitting the medium yeah 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 i'm right there i too. didn't Kinda. do all the books yeah. i didn't do all the books mm. right, but i'm definitely right. reading um fire and blood right now which is mm -hmm. helping me keep up and plus i you know i've I, you know, did a little studying for these past few years. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, fellas, you can't go yes. wrong when a woman says she's down for whatever. So, <laughs> you, you uh -oh, keep them uh -oh. on the team. That's all I can say. Uh, <laughs> this guy. Here we go. Oh, my God. Hey, I, I ain't saying. I ain't saying. I'm just saying. I'm just saying, man. You don't get rid of them, fellas. When they say that, you keep them around. There are some things. There are some things we didn't explore last night that I wanted to explore with this fresh crowd, okay? A few things we didn't explore last night. And I'm going I'm to get things kicked off with Monique Nicole. So, and we'll start with Marvin. You guys love Marvin. Marvin had to go to his damn therapy session. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, my gosh. And, and we did have someone in that therapy session that started to get a little out of pocket. Okay? Mm. I'm talking about my man, G. That was told mm -hmm. to sit his bald head ass down. <laughs> and then Marvin was put in check by this hot therapist. And again, mm. ladies and gentlemen, that's another minor theory. Marvin will be sleeping with this therapist before <laughs> Jukebox kill him. Just don't, don't, don't even get it twisted now. She all tough right now, but her little 1980s panty draws is coming oh. off. Do you mm. hear me? In a New York second, they coming off. But anyway. They're going to be clapping in a minute. You don't need to go. Tell, tell me, what was the point in G going nuts and then trying to step to Marvin and Marvin was sitting there eating his damn Fritos and shit? Like, it's like G. Like it was not, but, so hey. not interesting. Yeah. yeah. Right. Floor is yours. I think Marvin was like, boy, I could kill you. You don't even know who you're messing with. So he, did, I guess he just wasn't phased by it. I guess he thought it was a, a joke. Um, but yeah, that, that man, he was spared, you know, touched by an angel because we know what Marvin is capable of doing. So mm -hmm. well, I think he needs a couple more extra solo sessions. That's what I think. If oh, he, Lord. If you're going to be turning up on people in the group, with group therapy session, you might need some solo therapy sessions <laughs> to work on your hmm. anger. Well, you know what? You you make a good point. Yeah, that is. would be a really, really good way for Marvin to get some one-on-one -on -one with this young lady right here. <laughs> Just go in there and start acting a fool for no reason, and then he'll have to start getting that one-on-one -on -one session thing going on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, B. Avery, I swing to you next, man. Um, what did you think about this scene, and will we see G again? Will he play a role in anything in this show? You know, it'd be crazy. They may end up, may, uh, end up being best friends by the end of the season, you know? Uh, That's true. Let's throw that in That's there true. just to be silly. But no, nah, um, I, I was like, ooh, that would be entertaining if they fought, you know? Um, <laughs> that, that would be very entertaining. I kind of wanted it to happen. It was a little <laughs> over the top, but it was funny. I enjoyed it. it but you're funny. right, though, man. Uh, they're most likely going to sleep together. She is uh, she is very attractive, mm. um, you know. But I don't even think she's playing around. I think she's, you know, it's kind of serious right now. She probably she has a disdain for Marvin because, you know, he, mm -hmm. you know, acting like he owned the place. Um, I like how she was like, um, what are you doing? You know, well, go over there and sit your ass down. You know, that was, <laughs> that, that, was that was that was quite funny right there. But he did he Marvin doing the most anyway. Like he got the Frito bag and making all kind of noise. And I'm like, bro, chill out. You know, you're making this hard on yourself. But um, I liked it. It was funny. Um, you know, Marvin's a bully. And uh, I hope I, I hope they squab, man. I hope they squab and I hope him and the counselor smash. You know, that would be pretty, pretty good for everybody. <laughs> yeah, and, and it appears that stars, ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna come to you next, Moochie. It appears that stars is now buying 
Queen and King Bez for their actors to <laughs> smash when they're playing these roles. Thank goodness. We tired of seeing full really? size and yeah, they finally get because in the next episode, you're gonna see Detective Mike Tomlin Howard in a full size bed with a lady he paid a couple of dollars to get in his sheets. This is a queen bed, and this is gonna be a first. We see this on stars, it's gonna be a first. All the other shows. They got a CEDO in a damn full size bed. Mm -hmm. you, you, you had Little Murder and um, Uncle Clifford in a damn college ass bed. And he had Little Murder hanging off the side of the bed and stuff. So they done stepped their bed game up. So, Moochie, what did you get from this scene right here? With this scene, I thought Marvin showed his restraint the way he talked to him. And even though he threatened him, it was just like, you know. He, it was cool. This guy was blowing his top. He was changing colors, all sorts of nonsense. Turning <laughs> off red and stuff. When he got mad, you know, and getting up and shouting. <laughs> but he was cool and didn't stop eating his chips the whole time. Nope. Didn't stop eating his Fritos. Nope. Is he going to smash the, the therapist? I believe 100%. so. And I, it was somebody that said this in the comments that she seems like the type that likes fixing people. So mm. this is gonna be her project. I'm trying. Like I'm, I'm trying to find a comment. It was BC that said it. Mm -hmm. I think it was BC that mm. said it. Mm. A fix him. Mm. Yeah. Mm. yeah. So mm -mm 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 -mm. I think mm. he might like the fact that she's putting him in his place too. Some people like domination. Mm -hmm. I'm just. <laughs> When she said that ass down, the, like, oh, the ones that the ones that seem like they like domination the most look a little bit more like G, if you want my personal yeah. opinion, you know. Well, I, no, I mean, I'm not talking about the whip part. Sometimes people like that tough talk. Sit your ass oh. down. Miss oh. <laughs> <laughs> K jump Miss K jump in here. You here for this conversation about that tough talk with Marvin, the therapist, and G. <laughs> well, first to what B. Avery said about the disdain that she has, um, I feel like she kind of likes him already. Like I mentioned this um, yesterday that when she kept asking people to participate, she kept looking towards him, mm -hmm. but somebody else would be like, oh, I'll say something. So it, it made her pay attention to that person until finally she calls on him. You know, so I think she already has like this little attraction to him. I don't know why. I'm not saying, you know, Marvin is the bad looking guy. I'm just saying, <laughs> I'm saying the fact that, you know, she's a therapist and then this is a client, you yeah. know. Mm -hmm. um, but I don't see Marvin letting this thing go. I don't think this, I think this was a mistake on this guy, Gerald's part. I feel like, you know, them zooming in on his face and having the ominous music in the background just Thank showed you. me that he's going to kill him, you know, and put him in the wall. Now, one thing I will say, Marvin does not have anger issues, so he doesn't belong there. So he can easily say, all right, you know what I'm saying? Because if y'all remember, he has enough patience to get a job done and then kill somebody afterwards, like he did last season. So that dude, um, I forgot his name. Yeah. Um, he was the, the one, one when they went to hit the um unique at the, the yeah. Movie so he, yeah. after he used him to do whatever he needed to do, he killed him after that. So he don't need anger management. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? People can say whatever they want to say about Marvin. Oh, he's the f up this and that. But he got enough patience to mm -hmm. wait for you know what i'm saying so i think that's what he's doing with this dude like all right you think you're just gonna pop up on like be all up in my face popping off no you don't know really? me. you don't no. know me bro <laughs> be avery i can see i can see them i can see them going to the bathroom and g get his ass whipped by marvin easily <laughs> yeah like, a, it would be it would be kind of like a repeat i'm sorry a repeat yeah. Of remember when Ghost went to that like grief therapy or whatever session and yes. he killed that dude that freak you know what I'm saying that yeah. that rant that did the hit and run and stuff like that so it'll mm -hmm. kind of be a little bit like that I think we're gonna get a, a you know 2.0 of the situation wow I was being silly I didn't even think it would go there but you know okay we'll yeah. see we got we got history <laughs> with some body. of these writers there's history <laughs> with these writers ladies and gentlemen they don't stray too far from. The recipe that's been working from him. So yeah. shout out to the crew on G. And um Marvin might beat his ass and he started growing hair again, but something's <laughs> gonna happen. We in the crew on that. <laughs> I've got another one we didn't cover yesterday that I think is gonna have some substance in the story because they're not letting it go away. 
Um, this time we're gonna reverse the order. We'll go Miss KB, Avery, Monique, and uh, Moochie. Miss Bingham, Nicole's mama. Mm -hmm. She yeah. mattered in a fire ant in cold water. Her <laughs> ass is hot. Do you hear me? She is mad. And she wants to know <clears throat> why is people walking around free and her daughter is in the grave? She mm -hmm. feels like Juke gave her the drugs and caused the death. Mm -hmm. And she came in here trying to throw around right privilege, saying, well, what does the mayor have to say? And the mayor's done with them. The mayor is done <laughs> with them because he doesn't seen the shiciness of this couple. And she wants Detective Shannon Burke fired. Do you hear me? F I R T fired, not fired. Fired. She wants her ass gone now. And black dude captain had her back. He did, but not because of her, but for the sanctity of this police force. He supported her, and he's got major questions about why she dipping her nose in all this. And so I give it to you, Miss Kay. And I already done said what would be a strange twist of fate would be if that home rock was about to go by, winds up being in the same neighborhood as the Bingham oh, family, and she would see Ooh. Juke and them walking in and out of this house on a regular. Talk to me about this, Miss Kay. Yeah, because I was trying to figure out what was the purpose of this whole scene, because you know there has to be a purpose, right? So I was Gotta like, well, I can't think of anything. You know, all I was thinking of is the fact that, you know, the captain was saying that I can guarantee you that we don't have, like, you know, closeness to folks outside of or regard he said regardless of how close people become or whatever we are not going to have them protect a suspect or whatever you know so i was just thinking that this is something that will also bring juke and um what's her name closer burke but i don't have anything to say about this to be honest <laughs> mm, okay. I'm, yeah i'm just waiting for it. it's just a piece of a puzzle so i ain't got much Oh, excuse me. Okay, B. Avery, <laughs> talk to me. Talk to me about Miss Bingham. Is she gonna? I, I think that um, you know, I think that she's gonna be a thorn in the police force's side because now that her daughter is going, it seems like the political structure is kicking her and her husband to the curves. You see how the mayor's basically denouncing her. So where do you think they're gonna take this Bingham story? And um, they ain't just put it in here for nothing. Right. Uh, I'm not sure because I didn't think that we would see Nicole's mom anymore um, after what happened last season. So Me I, like, like Miss K, I'm kind of like, OK, you know, what, what are we doing here? It has to be a reason. But this scene was funny to me. I, I, it was actually a comedy um, a show. I was laughing at the dude right there because, you know, that represents the mayor. Basically, mm -hmm. because no, nobody it, like she's distraught right now. She lost her daughter. I understand anybody would be upset. But nobody gives right. a damn. Everybody just like, God nope. damn, I, I, you know, I got some hot pocket in the microwave. You know, I, I got my DVR playing at home. Everybody want to be right. somewhere else. And she was like, oh, my God. So I found it funny, you know, because like you said, what does she think of the mayor? And he was like, oh, well, you're an acquaintance. And, you know, I'm just here to see how this plays out. And um, it, it was funny how the black captain uh, yelled at Burke as well. You know, you just fucked everything up. Shit. You know, so uh, or whatever he said, I was I was laughing at that. So um, yeah, I didn't really think about. I mean, maybe she'll have. Um, I didn't really think of it too much. Maybe she'll have some run in with Juke because she's here. Uh, mm -hmm. But for the most part, I was I was kind of laughing during the scene. So mm -hmm. <laughs> Monique Nicole, talk about Miss Bingham. I think she's going to be a thorn <laughs> in somebody's side for sure. Um, Last season, I kind of had a feeling they were going to keep her around just because the last scene that she was in, um, in season one, she was basically saying she knows people in high places and she was on a tangent. So I had a feeling they were going to bring her back. Now, right. why? I don't know the why. Um, it, it could be, now this is kind of crazy, but it could be she's going to maybe go after Juke or try to confront Juke and then maybe hurt her or try to hurt her and then Mm. Some, something because she's she's they're showing us that she is very desperate you, mm -hmm. see the husband, you see the husband's not with her so either they're right. divorced or he's sick of her antics and he's just like you go alone i'm not dealing with this so i guess time will tell and we'll get to see later mm. um but yeah mm. um it's gonna be a mess you're gonna do something mm. stupid. she's gonna do something mm. stupid. got that right moochie what you got 
other than Rock gonna move next door to her, what you got? I know you over there cooking up some good cold she, brew. She's like a mosquito, yo. She just don't stop. No, <laughs> <laughs> you know how one of those her husband even gave up. Look, she's going rogue and doing this on her own. I don't think her husband even knows she's doing all of this. She probably don't have a job because he's probably making all the money and she doesn't want to shop and stuff like that anymore. And you know how people have that empty nest thing going on when they don't have kids anymore. So she doesn't know what to do with herself. So she's going to try to uh, make sure someone pays for her daughter's murder. She's just a bug. Mm. Moochie, do you want some more kids since you got an empty nest? No, I'm done with that part of my life. Oh. I'm so done with that part of my life. I'm just, I'm just saying, you know, you might see Lulu on these streets one day. Look, you might and say, then I'll say mama got to have a life too, so I don't need no kids. Mm, 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 mm. Ladies and gentlemen, post them comments about Miss <laughs> Bingham. She's not going away and it's for a reason. Um, and let's go back to Marvin <laughs> and a snitch. So uh, this time we'll reverse the order. We'll go Monique, Moochie, B. Avery, Miss K. Marvin goes back and sits and talks to his lawyer, who looks a lot like the lawyer Tasha was dating in power. It looks a lot like him. It could be it his daddy like or something. Him. could be his daddy. And Marvin is like, bro, you said she was going to let me sign in and sign out. She's not doing that. But then he wants to get some information on the CI. And then it's revealed <laughs> Tony, the ex-white girl that had the good teeth, is now it was an informant and is now married to a dentist. Monique Nicole, why did they stick this information in here about Tony? Is he gonna go reach out to Tony and take her out? Is why he gonna try to go and Sorry. is he gonna try to go get that penis shaved again Ooh. by her good teeth? What's gonna be the deal? <laughs> oh my god, you stupid. Um I was first of all, why the hell would the lawyer give him that information? Is it is it a conflict because or is it okay because it's public record and public knowledge? I don't like I'm thinking on the legal ethical side. Like, is he I mean that that looked like a paper? That's that's the Scarsdale, the Scarsdale inquiry. So right. I mean that's I guess it's public, public information. Public information. Yeah. Okay. So I guess he's fine on the ethical note. Um, shit. I guess Marvin gonna go hunt her down. I don't know. I, this is weird. I mean, what other what other thing could it be, right? I mean, mm. why else? She's not gonna come back in town, right? She mm. fled. She Probably fled not. town. So Marvin I, I, go knocking on that door. I don't know. Mm. Well, uh, I can tell you this, Monique. Hundred percent. This. Hundred percent. This lawyer is not ethical. I can just tell you okay. that shit right now. The lawyer is not ethical at all. He's doing whatever he can to win, but I do got questions about that. So let let us go to the resident of script writer in the making herself, Muchella. What you got on Marvin, his lawyer, <laughs> and and little Miss Tony D? I feel like he's gonna go and try to handle this situation. He's going to go talk to her. Um, you pay a lawyer enough, they'll do some digging for you. Mm -hmm. Sure will. So, and, and she's named in his paperwork. That's the confidential informant. When he got arrested, she was named. Mm -hmm. So, yes, she, yep. she, you have to, you have a right to know your accuser. Mm. So, that, that, she, he's not breaking the law. Okay. So, mm -hmm. when, when, you, when, you know, when they look at the paperwork, they have it, like, you know, some, sometimes it's not listed unless it goes to trial, but usually you have a right to find out who your accuser is, and she's the confidential informant. So does she mm. does she count and, as and she was already seen because she was already seen in there, and she already was saying it. Remember mm -hmm. in the priest, and she was like, "You're a drug dealer, Marvin." Yeah. <laughs> does, she, does she count as a loose end in this case? Yes, in this case. Yeah, because she's she cheer him up. Mm -hmm. But she knows. And remember. You know what he does. He, he exactly. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And she remember, she was where, sitting. Where his, all his stuff is, but right, you know, right. She, she put the know. heat on him. She mm -hmm. definitely put it. And remember, she was sitting right there in that pre that precinct on the very last episode last season. Yeah. She was sitting right in there, running that mouth. Be able to clap them cheeks again, though. <laughs> Mm. Not not if the therapist got anything to do with it. And me and B. Avery, I think <laughs> yeah, I can okay. speak for him. We would much rather see the therapist than Tony D, oh, don't yeah, you think, B. I, Avery? Look. Oh, of course, of course. <laughs> well, that, that's, don't she that's like her chocolate, Tony? Infinity times more. Jesus. 
<laughs> Not infinity. <laughs> what you what you got on the lawyer and Tony D, man? What you think gonna happen here, B. Avery? Uh, to be honest, this scene was the most confusing to me uh, in the whole episode. I was because in my little recap, I was like, "What the hell is going on?" <laughs> but um, I think after hearing everyone now, I, yeah, I think he's just gonna go find her and push her down the stairs, and um, <laughs> Damn. you know, make it look like an accident. <laughs> or 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 at least just instill some fear in her, you know. Just, yeah, yeah. You know, he he may not even say nothing. He may just be posted up on the corner and give her a look. You know, yeah. and that could be enough. You know, yeah. uh, I don't think she's gonna. I don't think they're gonna team up together or, or, and be no. allies. I don't see that at all. Um, mm -hmm. So I think he's just gonna either instill some fear or kind of make her go away. Now, Miss K, who killed who killed that dog? He gave her last year. Didn't Rock mm -hmm. or somebody scrap. Ki scrap yeah. killed the dog? Scrap, scrap yeah. killed the dog. Okay. <laughs> so, Miss K, what what do you think is gonna happen with Tony D and her new? Um, dentist doctor. Mm, is he gonna go to the dentist's office and tie her to the chair and do his own dental work on her? Nova King going on. Yeah, um, yeah. <laughs> uh, I, yeah, I think he's gonna take her out. I don't think he's gonna leave her behind either. I think she's gonna be, you know, like a missing person. Um, mm -hmm. Here's my thing. I feel like, you know, if he's gonna go and kill her, it's just by the time all of this is said and done, like, let's go you know, past all these seasons when it comes time to maybe if he doesn't get killed, but now we got all these bodies and these missing persons popping up. Like, I think mm -hmm. this is what they're doing right now. They're just building the bodies, the bodies, okay. the bodies, bodies. Okay. So she's just one of them. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. right. And, um, you know, there's more to come, but that's the body that more bodies in the organization. Crown is, you know, he's next. Mm. Um, you know, Tony's <laughs> about to go, you know, so it's, this is an under rocks organization. These are all the, this is the pile up scrap just went, we got mm. crown next. Tony's on deck. I mean, mm. hey, Warrell too. Warrell, Warrell, on deck Warrell too. might yeah. be on deck. We on deck. Bodies, bodies, bodies. <laughs> we on deck. The upper, the upper room. room. <laughs> wow. Isn't this the original show that said the streets need a body? <laughs> this, is, yes. this, this is the original <laughs> show that said Oh, they getting bodies the body. Yeah, mm -hmm. so they just they just raising the body count right now. That's all. That's why it's these characters that don't really matter that much because they're just you know it's the body mm -hmm. count. Gotcha. Not, you know, I mean, Scrap mattered to me. I ain't talking about him. Uh, mm, 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 mm. Well, I ladies see, and gentlemen, I still don't see Marvin going this season yet. Nah. Not yet. It, it, it's too soon to me. Wait. They need him. They well, need him to do some dirty work. Well, I, I hope y'all don't hate me when they off his ass. Hope y'all don't not. hate me. I hope. Mm. Okay. Not okay. this one. Me and you good. Listen, I don't know, brother. Miss mm -hmm. K, K, that's her. That's her dude up here. All y'all women got a dude on this show, <laughs> and that's Miss K, dude. And I'm about to talk about Monique Nicole, dude, in just a second because that was something we ain't talk about with Joey mm -hmm. Badass. Mm -hmm. I have yesterday. a couple. Of, I have a couple of them on the show, baby. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Everybody get a turn, ladies and gentlemen. Uh -uh. Oh, on this show, oh, on yeah, this show, on deck two, tall glass. Forgot, sorry. <laughs> oh no, she did. Famous on deck. <laughs> yeah, he is on deck. The up he just yeah. Mm -hmm. So we've got four hundred and fifty-five people on a Tuesday night. Can we get four hundred and fifty-five likes? Yes. Four hundred and fifty-five subscriptions to everybody's channel. If you've never seen them before. Monique Nicole's in the red. Moochie's beside her. Below me is Miss K. And beside Miss K is the big homie. Hey. Just my opinion reviews. All their link is in the description. They all put out great, great super content. Some of the best theories and reviews you're going to hear on all the YouTube. And we all rising to the top. We the cream of the crop and we going to the top. So subscribe hey. to everybody. Check yeah. us out. <laughs> we're going to start this one with Monique Nicole. Then we're going to go to B. Avery. Then we're going to bounce to Miss K and we're going to say Moochie for last. So we talked a little bit about Unique yesterday and I gave y'all my theory about how I think Marvin is going to kidnap Jerome, Lulu's kid, on the biddings of Rock and be held hostage. We talked a little bit about that. I didn't get into my full theory, but that's kind of I gave you some surface. But what we didn't talk about was how Rock, I mean, excuse me, Unique, Went up here, 
to Dean's place where you got the old folks in there playing bingo, ladies and gentlemen. And then he in there saying, do so sure you can fit him in his pocket. And then he gets to going in there pulling the K Michelle's throwing tables and stuff. <laughs> uh, uh, Monique Nicole, what's wrong with your boy? What's wrong? Yeah. He ain't gonna have no friends on these streets. I mean, I, I feel bad for my guy, you know, I, I feel bad for him. Um, but I mean, he acted a fool at that damn bingo place, flipping tables and stuff. You know, I mean, I feel bad, but I get where Dean's coming from. Right now, the block is kind of hot. You just got mm -hmm. to chill. The feds are still going to be eyeing him, watching his moves. So the block is hot. He got to, Dean got to protect his, his, you know, his brand and everything. So I get it, but it sucks. For unique, mm -hmm. because at the end of the day, he is innocent. Rock did set him up to go to jail, so it's it's a messed up situation. But I think mm. he's gonna, I think he's gonna come out not on top, but things are gonna look up for him. I think in the near future. Okay, okay. B. Avery, how you feeling about Joey Badass this season? I'm actually really enjoying him this season and the position he's been thrust into I've, I've enjoyed every time he's on screen i'm like yeah let's get it dude how you feeling about him he tripping man <laughs> this dude here then took a shotgun and blew both his feet off with that move mm -hmm. flipping tables mm -hmm. yeah. i mean not only like you get bro oh, you can't like monique said um uh, dean has a point the block is hot he don't want to be uh seen associated with you you just was in jail for murdering a cop that's the worst <laughs> not for kicking over a corner store for murdering a cop even if you are guilty like we need to chill uh, for him mm -hmm. to act like that man you just burnt the bridge mm -hmm. you just burned it it's just ashes washed away and it ain't being built back and and you got the old people in here you know there's no coming back from this you i don't i don't know no. i don't know uh, either they're gonna have to write him out the show or he gonna team up with somebody else or he about to die or mm. every time they show him in the rest of the season he's just gonna be in the corner somewhere i just don't i don't see how he can uh, come back from this because that was just stupid and great mm. you know um miss k i talked yeah. a little bit about team ups that i see happening to help mr unique Mm -hmm. We got this new Cartier Fareed. He's in the import-export business. My trailer breakdown last week said that we could see a team up with them. I also said we could see a team up with Unique and the mafia dude he saved in jail that was about to be um, mm -hmm. RAP. Mm -hmm. So I think there are some connections left. But, I mean, Miss K, damn, man. You're starving the old people. Come on. Come on, man. Yeah. They just trying to have some snacks. <laughs> with their bingo, and some mm -hmm. of these people hearing gone, so they don't even know when they got bingo, so it's there for the snack. Come on, mm -hmm. floor right. is yours. Floor is yours. Um, <laughs> well, first of all, if he doesn't partner with someone, it, it's pretty much over for him. He's it's, he's gonna go downhill because <laughs> the cops are all over him. They have a hard on for him, even though they have no evidence for him shooting Zero. Detective Howard. But because right. they have nobody, they just want to keep on applying the pressure to him. So they're going to continue to be like a roadblock, you know what I'm saying, for him. Now, the only thing that can happen that will work this out, because nobody's going to want to touch him. Like Rock said, he radioactive. Nobody's going to want to touch him. But if the person that was in prison, that guy is tied, has ties to the mob or whatever. And if he does have ties to the mob, I don't understand why he didn't have no protection up in there anyway. But that's another story. So... We got him, right, maybe making a call to help out. Now, somebody in the mob has, you know, connections to police officers now saying, leave this dude alone. That's the mm -hmm. only way we're going to get this guy back in the game. Mm -hmm. There has to mm -hmm. be connections to, you know, politicians and police officers, stuff like that, because yeah. it's not happening. Well, it's not realistic, to be honest. Mm -hmm. Right. Right. Uh I agree. I agree. My homie Moochie, right, the script writer. What you, what you got for this? I feel like with this scene, uh -huh. Dean handled it so cool. You, you, you're a person of interest. So basically, oh, you, yeah. you want to bring heat to my organization? I can't I can't have no dealings Nothing. with you. I'm just, oh, and no, we I'm already not see, really doing so good right now. We already see that um, we already see that the uh, how can I say it? We already see at this time that the detectives that are working Detective Howard's case 
are going to be on them like a dog with a bone. He And he said mm-hmm. just because. Just because they know they know his reputation. They can't prove right. he did it. So they're going to follow him around. He's hot. It's nothing. It's no way around it. The only, I, I can't even see him humbling himself to work with the um the producer guy. You can't? I can't see him humbling himself. He barely wanted to humble himself to talk to Rorel. Look how he, didn't he treated hum- look True. at how look at how he treated Rorel. That's why he's leaving. And and mm. and not for nothing. Me and Miss K had a, a, a conversation about this last night. And and I wish she was back on screen so we could she could confirm it. But mm. what I was gonna say is she mentioned it and we both talked about it. As far as this whole thing with, with um Warrell, I was thinking at first he might reach back for Unique, but he's not going to because Unique, Unique will bite the hand that fed him just because he felt like Warrell betrayed him. Because remember the other guy that was using the drugs, that was one of his day one's people. And look at mm-hmm. how he did him. Right. He did him right. real dirty. Yeah. Right. Yeah. He, he yeah, out. I mean, I, I still, I'm, I'm alone on this one. That's, that's fine. I still feel like the way Warrell spoke to Unique was not on some bro. I'm so sorry, but I, I need this. It, it, I, I did not. He came in there with his chest up. He had an hmm. attitude. I felt like he was bugged. That's fine. Y'all don't agree. Some, some people in the comments agree with me last night. What? Everybody has different opinions. That's cool. My opinion is just that I feel like when I watched it. I did not get that, like, I'm sorry, bro, but I got to do this. I didn't get that from Royal. He came in with his chest bucked up. I felt like he... I, I don't think so. He, he he let him down easy, but you got to look at how he treats him. Hmm. He don't treat his people good. Yeah. He don't treat his people good. And Royal might have a change of heart once he find out Scrappy dead. So we don't know how this going to play but out. Can I ask, what's the definition of treating people good? Because... All we have to go off of is he cussed them out a couple times. Hasn't Rock cussed out her crew a couple times? No, I'm talking about no. look at how he killed his day one. Oh, well, that. If yeah, he comes that, back, that. If, 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 if he comes back and tries, if if yeah. he's in with Rock and he mm-hmm. tries to reach back for him, he's going to take that building over. He's mm-hmm. going to take 40 over, like I said last night. Yeah. And he's going to um he's going to take him out. No, I There's agree no with way. that. There's no way. No, he, I agree. Now, if he got a mob connection, he ain't going to give a damn. I agree with that part. I agree with that part for sure. Mm-hmm. I just, Look, he took over Rock's blocks before. That's yeah. how this whole thing got started. He came mm-hmm. from uptown and took things over. Took some parts of, you know, and remember she was like, I'm going to let you have this block and then the whole thing started with Canaan. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. I, you know, I could like, but, you know, I'm, I'm not, I'm, I'd like to, I like to think about stuff and expand on it, but yeah. I could be wrong. I'm, I'm not saying I'm right. I could be wrong. Yeah, no. Mm-hmm. What you said, I definitely agree with. I just mm-hmm. the other part that I'm still, I'm still standing. Yeah, I don't, like I don't say, feel you like. Might be right too. You know, we. Just, I like to have fun with this. We Brandon, let me this. be Avery. Let me ask you: When, how did you feel about that scene when Warrell came and spoke to Unique? Did you feel like were you surprised at how Warrell was speaking to him? Were you? How did you? What What were your thoughts on that scene when he approached Unique and told him leave, <laughs> basically? Um. I th- you know he 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 went in there to flex. Um, his mind was already made up. Thank you. You know, um, you know he was just yep. weighing his options, and he was like, you know, this guy don't have nothing to offer. It was kind of shady to me. You know, he didn't have any remorse. Um, Thank you. Yeah, that's that's just why I'm at. Yeah, I felt the same way. No remorse. Mm. That's the purpose. So you, no so remorse. you think he went in there with his chest up? Dude was scared. I, well, I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know. I don't. I, I'm kind of taking it back now too, because at the same time, if he didn't have any remorse, he wouldn't have showed up. He just. Thank you. That's. Thank so you. I don't. I don't know. Exactly. I'm, I'm on the. I'm, I think I'm exactly. on the fence. I'm on the fence. That's that's, um, that's the point, B. Avery. That is the point right there to buffer Monique. If he had no remorse, he would just ignore it, dude. Not he. You know, it's like this. If there's something you need said to you. Like we've all been in a situation where maybe you broke up with somebody and they try to text your ass or shoot your email instead of coming telling you to mm-hmm. your face because it's hard for them to come and tell you in your face. But Lamont, can, can two things be true at the same time? 
can two yeah, things be at the same time? Of course, well, of course well, I can. He, he, you're right. I, you're absolutely right. He gets a point because he did come to him man to man, face to face. I agree. Right. I'll, I'll give Warrell that. But it right. still doesn't change the fact for me and some, some of the viewers, because some people did agree with me in the comment section, it still doesn't change the fact that it came off as a sorry, your luck. It just came, it came off like a it oh, well, step, yeah. leave, gotta go, bye, partner. It came off like that to a lot of people. A lot of people felt that way. So I can't, so, that's how so I felt. How I, I what felt. I want to know is what, what would you have had Warrell say? Remember what I said last night, though. It's not necessarily what he said; it was how he said it. I, it was his delivery for me. That it was his delivery. So, for me. so that's where we keep arguing about because yeah, his delivery but, was that of a punk because he was acting scared. He didn't yeah, deliver he that scared. with no. That's basis. what I'm saying. He let yeah. him down easy. He was scared. a lot of yeah. people. He still don't want to get him. no blowback. A lot of people right. agree that he came in with his uh, chest bucked up. I got people saying not he, in the dope game. I got people saying it was more respect than remorse. But just you can keep scrolling. I'm not going to compete with. Comments, no, I'm not competing. Just, I'm just telling you. Yeah, I'm just saying like. Well, let's take a look at it again. It's a minor, it's a minor detail. It was just that let's was my say, feeling. That's let's all. take one final look at this because I'm 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 lost on this one now. But let's look at it one more time. I got the clip. I love it when I got the clip. Yeah, if he was Ain't nothing left for you on the south side, man. It's time to go. Nah, this side when I want to go all out. Ain't nobody forcing me off these blocks. Not the police. Not rock. Damn sure not you, nigga. I'm here. Well, I ain't going nowhere with you. Mm. Mm. Someone said if he was scared, he wouldn't have showed up. So I don't, I don't feel like he was scared. I feel like... Unique was down bad and he took advantage of that. If Unique was still had that power, Warrell would not have stepped to him in that way. He would not have. But because Unique but, was down on his luck, he felt confident but, enough to buck at him like that. That's I, 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 I feel like he tried but wait to a minute. Him if, when, when when the cops was coming and, and right. what the streets was saying, and Unique ain't take heed to what he was saying. He did also. He not, he, I mean, he acted on it after <laughs> after he went outside and saw what was going on, but he didn't want to. But remember, leave. he was when Warrell told him, right? At first, he was like, "Hell no, I'm not gonna do that to no cop." And then he was like, "Oh, rock stank all over this." And mm -hmm. then he was like, "Warrell, take me to my people. I got to get my people now." Because so I don't. I mean, I don't know. Yeah, at first he didn't believe him. No, that's what yeah. I'm saying. Okay. Mm -hmm. Or, or he was I, saying I, like it's impossible for them to think what I got. It's impossible for them to think that because I all of this money I got on the street. Why would mm. I shoot a cop? And I agree. I, yeah. I agree. But he had to tell him, but he wanted to shoot the messenger then. Yeah. Hmm. Behavior, <laughs> what you got? No, I was gonna say I think he changed his position in the middle of that confrontation. Um, you know, he was trying to be nice, but I forgot because like you just played the clip. Um Unique was like, You ain't you know, nobody's pushing me off the streets, not the cops. Um, what do you say? Not the cops, not rock, yeah, not sure you, not nigga. You. Yeah. So if you're gonna talk to him like that, he's gonna be like, "Oh, well, f you then." You know, I'm not going no. nowhere with you. So mm. he, he may have uh, changed his uh, tone just a bit there uh, after that response because that that's not how you talk to somebody, especially in the position you don't have anything, you moron. You know, right? So, um, <laughs> you, you need that's kidding. what I was about to say to Monique. Monique said if Unique had all his stuff in place, he would not have stepped to him. And Monique, you're absolutely right. But he yeah, wouldn't agree. have had I to step to him because he would still have a job. He'd still be that working means that for he never me. really respected him in the first place, then. Because if you really if you're really loyal, if you're really loyal to somebody, you're not gonna I don't know. It's just the it's just the way he came at him. That's just my opinion. That's just my opinion. Uh, some people agree with me, some people don't. What am I missing? <laughs> Warrell versus Unique. That's fine. Monique Nicole feels like it was disrespectful the way Warrell came at him. She feels like Warrell came at Unique with his chest out, stomped all over him. I was taken aback by how he was speaking to Unique. I felt like he was just on some, it wasn't really much remorse. It was just like a Listen, you dried up. I'm with Rock now. Oh, well, step off, leave town. That's how it came off to me. And all I was saying was last season, Warrell, to me, proved himself to be very loyal. So I was taken aback 
when he was basically like step what off. in the world just happened <laughs> moochie done disappeared just on him. disappeared Vamos. <laughs> Son of Vamos. <laughs> the same um, thing yeah i'm sorry i'm listening <laughs> yeah, that, i mean that was that was the quick what i just said that was basically like mm -hmm. that was that was it that, that's my yeah. reason because he was so loyal to him last season. I, I you know, yeah, he, was I defended, loyal. he was loyal. He was loyal a lot because he was very loyal last season. So that that's all. That's all. He I'm was saying. he was loyal. So here here's the thing. Since since we're doing the theory stuff now. Oh now man, what, what is going, going on? on? Maybe oh. I shouldn't do the theory. Okay, tell them what you talked about last night. I don't know if I can. People, I might be next. I'm on deck. <laughs> uh oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> Look, my hands is up here. My, I ain't doing I nothing. My like hands that. is up here. No, it wasn't I ain't me. Doing no, what happened? I just got kicked through. Hey, Definitely Sean Mitchell, me. you caught that, right? You they caught like, that. Damn. Hey, we yeah. here. <laughs> Definitely was the Jay Z quote. All right. Um. So here's the here's what I'm gonna do because I was gonna do a thing. I'm still gonna just do it. Um. As far as the whole situation with Scrap, I'm sorry, not with Scrap, with Warrell. I definitely mm -hmm. don't think that he had his chest you know, pumped out or puffed up or whatever. I don't think so. He was just telling him as a man, there's nothing out here for you. And I'm going, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm over here, brother. I feel like it was respectful enough that he told him. That's my opinion, right? But my thing is, we got to remember, because this is not a surprise to me that this happened. Um, Unique did not know how to talk to that man. He talked to him very disrespectfully. He talks to his his everybody like that disrespectfully. Warrell don't watch him kill his day one or whoever. Trez, what's his name? Trez G. True. Watch yeah. him kill that Negro and then turn around talking about this could be any of y'all. Warrell, every time stuff like that happened, the camera zoomed right in on Warrell. Mm. So this is the reason why we're seeing this happening because they were planning on to happen any daggone way because this is what this this is how this man was being treated all the time. And even when um, that that whole blue top situation happened, and I guess that um, uh, unique tried to make it. Made he thought that it was Rock doing that, like she planted the blue tops or whatever. He's like, Rock stink all over this, right, Moochie? Rock stink all over this. Rock stink all over and, this. <laughs> and Warrell tried to tell him that, nah, that's not what I heard. He said, I don't give a f what you heard. You heard what the f I said, and just mm. you know, shut him yeah. down. He threw something somewhere and then told the dude, Yo, Ricardo, come pick this up. That's how he treats his subordinates or his workers or whatever. Exactly. No respect at all. He made a mess. He told somebody else to come clean it up. No mm. respect. So guess what? When it was his turn to say, I'm chucking the deuces. I'm respectfully telling you as a man. I'm done with you. Yeah, you go. Now, the only thing about it is, is he going to flip-flop? Now, my theory is that he's not going to flip-flop because of the way this man has treated him in the past. But that doesn't mm. mean that Warrell could be trusted, though. That's my mm -mm. thing. He Warrell. can't be trusted. And I, I still think that there's a bit of fear in his heart toward Unique. Fear mm. that'll make him want to keep Unique close. But we'll mm. see. And yeah. shout out to uh, Monique Nicole's flirking. That's not a cat, ladies and gentlemen. That is a <laughs> real deal earth flirking on Monique yeah. Nicole's uh -oh. desk. Everybody's favorite cat. And I'm going to get us out of here on this. <laughs> um, ladies and gentlemen, we've got up to 505. Let us get some likes. Subscribe to everybody's channel. I'll start with B. Avery on this one as we get out of here. And this one is going to be with the devil herself, Raquel. Uh -oh. <laughs> now... Raquel was in, in, in the bodega, right? She's in the bodega. Juliana put that little <laughs> bug in her ear about, you know, we got the rats eating up your money. Why you got all your money here letting the rats eat it? If it was me, I'd be sending money down to my people in Colombia. And so Rock decides she's going to buy her a house. And that's where I think the house is going to be next to uh, Miss Bing. However, as Rock was walking out of there, and ladies and gentlemen, who has more expressive eyes in Hollywood than Rod? Name me five people. You might can name me three, but you can't name me five. As Rod is walking out that door, showing us them cat eyes, she's looking at unique baby mama. And what I want to know for you, B. Avery, is why she didn't say something to unique baby mama, why she let her. Because you know you leave in the room where your stash money is at. And this is unique baby mama. You know it's her. And you just content with letting her be in there, seeing you 
walking out of the back of the room. And ain't nobody dumb when you walk out of the back of the room. It usually means you got some business back there. Floor is yours, B. Avery. You next, Mooch. K, you after that. Monique, you will end this discussion for the night. So you're saying why didn't um, The Rock say something to your baby mama? Yes. Maybe because she thought the look was enough. Um, Because it is quite fierce. I mean, look at her. You know, she does have a look to say, don't you dare fuck with me or you're going to die. You know, damn right. And (laughs) I I, I think she heard the message, too, because if you look at her face after that, she was scared. And when we heard the dialogue later, like, oh, my God, I saw a rock at the bodega and she looked mean, you know, you know. And so uh, that may not be enough right there. And uh, I see what you're saying, but. She didn't want to tell on herself, you know, like, don't you go back there now because I got business. You know, that would be a dead giveaway. But, you know, um, she may have needed to say that because we, we saw what happened in the in the trailer for the next episode. So mm-hmm. I don't know. I'm kind of thinking maybe it was a unique baby mama that spilled the beans on what was going on back there. I, I'm not sure. But um, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, she probably just, uh, you know, she thought her look was a, a, a bluff enough to you know, not causing any trouble. Hey, you you got to be a real woman's woman to be walking by toilet tissue, that's a dollar, and pampers and spam and be able to intimidate a woman in it looking like this. And that's what mm-hmm. Rock is doing right here. Moochie, floor that's is yours. Spam. Spam. <laughs> spam, pampers, toilet <laughs> tissue, old classic Pepsi machine. <laughs> I feel like with this, I think once what his what she said to Unique, Unique's gonna start doing some reconnaissance because he ain't got nothing but time now. So he gonna ride around and he gonna check out the bodega. He gonna see Rock running in it, walking in and out of there. And he's gonna mm-hmm. and that's how we didn't see all of that. I think she told about the bodega and put a bug in his ear. Cause she didn't know what was going on back there. She did say she was back there, so he gonna go check it out. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. And Miss K, I'm gonna add a twist to the story now. Uh, I don't know if you have or you haven't, but I gave a trailer breakdown. I said I think that Unique took the money. Now the question is, how is he gonna get in there and get the money? So if Unique takes the money, do you can you see him dressing up and posing as an exterminator somehow, getting access to the fact that? Juliana's supposed to be calling exterminators because it didn't look like the store was broken into in the trailer. It just looked like the money was gone. So can you see Unique figuring out that exterminator's supposed to be coming through and he dress up as one and cleans the place out? Um, I don't know. <laughs> I don't really see Unique doing all that, but he, you know, he might. We haven't seen him do anything other than, you know, get his suits tailored and stuff like that. So, um, <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm wondering if this situation is more like they're locking eyes and then mm-hmm. by coincidence, her, her little stash gets robbed. And because he she sees mm-hmm. her there, she automatically she assumes that it's unique, but it's somebody else. Right. So that is mm-hmm. something that I'm thinking might be a possibility. And we've already seen Rock is the queen of, of assuming shit and making hard decisions that usually is in error. Go ahead, mm-hmm. Moochie. In the trailer, it sounded like it was Detective Howard's voice. Mm. Oh. He's like, I'm trying to get your attention. Mm. Well, I'm just mm. saying. I, I hey, could be, hey. Like I said, I could hey, be hey, warm. Mo- I could Moochie. be far-fetched. But, and you know. Moochie. And, well, and, and, and where and, he get, where and, he get the money to get that? I agree with Miss K. I, I think, I think they, he is, she is going to assume that it was unique at first. Mm-hmm. And where did Detective Howard all of a sudden get enough money to pay for the lady that he was courting in his queen bed? Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep. Monique Nicole. <laughs> Monique Nicole, you get... So I'm going to get it up and get it in. <laughs> that's right. That, that's right. Yeah. That's right. He got a second chance at life. Boy, mm-hmm. better, get that, better get that meat seasoned. Monique. You get last word on this. What you feeling? Um, there's not much to be said. Everybody kind of said everything, you know. Um, I definitely think, you know, when the girlfriend told Unique about the bodega, mm-hmm. he put two and two together, which is really smart to even, you know, think that. But mm-hmm. he put two and two together, and next week, baby, she about to get robbed by Unique. 
Hmm. Now, did he do it by himself or did he get help? That's the question, because I don't know. And how did he break in? Don't they have like five different bolt locks on that door? That's that's why I'm telling you, it might be he might get in there and pretend like he's an exterminator or something, you know, something to that effect. <laughs> but but if he do pull this off, you can cool believe to test Warrell's loyalty, Rock is gonna make him go get that kid. Go get mm -hmm. our unique son to test that damn loyalty. When she yeah. this happened, she's gonna be like, uh, Warrell, I need to test your loyalty, son. Go bring me Jerome, unique mm -hmm. kid, mm -hmm. and we're gonna see what he can do. Mm -hmm. You know, so. somebody, uh, Boris T. Meeks said that uh, Warrell and his crew got busted with crack rock on themselves. The amount of crack on them gets you more time in jail than cocaine. So, how did Warrell get out of jail? Becoming a CI freed him and crew. Hmm. We didn't see him get busted with drugs. He just got True. He just shook down the corner and yeah. like, told him to get off the corner. Like, That's true. I mean, if we seen him in there, like how we saw Scrappy, then I, I could agree with you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right, right. I'm with that. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to conclude us for tonight. We did reach a number of 525 on a Tuesday night. Wow. Hey, I appreciate yo. you guys coming through. Yay. Be sure to subscribe to everybody's channel. They put out great <laughs> content, hardest working people on YouTube. And um, I'll be back Thursday to review She-Hulk. And by the way, we all do have social media presences. Here is mine, and I am on that thing that y'all call the TikTok, so you can mm -hmm. find me over there. And download the podcast, ladies and gentlemen. The podcast will be up in about 20 minutes. Keep it gully. Help us out. That's going to do it for this video. Don't forget to like it, comment, subscribe. Till that next sexy as hell video. We out of here.